100 wins with no losses. Yes, this untouchable legendary fighter was so good that he once went 100 wins without losing a single time. Like Bruce Lee would say, this legend is like water. He can flow and he can crash. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. And This fighter doesn't just have next level striking, he has matrix level striking. As the owner of an incredible streak of 100 consecutive victories, he's so fast that they call him Mr. Lightning so evasive that they call him the slippery eel so good that people call him the floyd mayweather of muay thai he is the most evasive fighter in muay thai history his name lerdzilla lerdzilla is one of a kind unlike the many muay thai fighters who are rigid strong and forward marching lerdzilla is the opposite if Bruce Lee was alive to see Lertilla fight, he would say that he is like water, that he can flow and that he can crash. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Jockey Jim, one of the greatest fight camps in Thailand history, gave birth to Lertilla. Like other legends from Jockey Jim, Lertilla was majestically technical, fast, elusive and tricky. Lerzilla was the best of Jockey Jim fighters. You can see Sanchai, Somrat Kamsing, Selapatai in Lerzilla's style. But what made him unique was that he is the hybrid of the three legends and even more evasive than the rest. Being more evasive than the rest of Jockey Jim fighters is no small feat, as they were all extremely evasive. To top it off, Lerzilla also combined the best of what he saw in Taekwondo and Karate. He also added in incredible defensive boxing, which is very rare for Muay Thai and kickboxing. So how did he achieve this? In Lerzilla's own words, he watched the best martial artists from around the world and blend in their best techniques with his own style. With this, Lerdzilla became a hybrid striker. His fighting style is one built on deception and he always keeps his opponents guessing with his tricks. Part of the fun in watching Lerdzilla is that he agitates his opponents in a similar way of how the Matador gets the ball to charge. Part of Lerdzilla's strategy is to get them so emotional or angry so that he can break their concentration and score with ease. There are so many parts to Lerzilla that make him special, so let's explore them. Rope a dope. It's rare for a fighter to put themselves against the ropes and invite the opponent to attack, especially in Muay Thai and kickboxing. A fighter would only tactically do this to opponents who are superior athletes. By inviting them to attack from a disadvantageous position, his more athletic opponents exhaust their energy. Like, for example, when Muhammad Ali used the famous rope dope against the monstrous George Foreman. Now, at an older age, Lerdzilla does the same thing against his many opponents, using his slick, evasive skills to dodge punches and his beautiful Muay Thai teep to nullify aggression. This reserves his energy for explosive attacks that results in knockouts. Those crazy lean backs. Lerdzilla has the craziest level of spine flexibility that I've ever seen in a fighter. He can bend so low and yet still bounce back to attack right after. This takes incredible balance and mobility to pull off. Although many Muay Thai fighters can lean back, Lerdzilla does it in a unique way. He can even move his feet position as he leans back. Beautiful question mark kicks. 
Lozilla can do this from both stances, the left kick and the right kick. The question mark kick is set up by faking either a teep or a middle roundhouse and then directing the trajectory towards their head. In this clip here, Lozilla fakes the roundhouse to the body and right at the last second changes the course of the kick high. The slickest weaves and ducks against punches. This is very rare to see in a Muay Thai fighter. Even the great evasive Sanchai doesn't weave or duck very often. Even Sama doesn't use his head movement very much in Muay Thai either. However, Somrak Kamsing and Lodzilla can both slip, weave, duck and lean back like no other Muay Thai fighters we've ever seen. Looking like a true bad man, hands down, stalking the opponent, this is a very truly special style. Most evasive tricky fighters sit back and just counter. But once Lazella feels like he has his opponent's number, he will walk them down with his guard dropped and invite attacks so that he can counter them. This is mental warfare at its finest. And probably my personal favorite, his ability to just toy with his opponents, showing a mad high level of IQ and competence, pure class. Which is somewhat understandable after countless fights, an incredible set of teammates of the highest level, and being in the world of Muay Thai since the age of 7 years old. Being able to effortlessly sweep opponents. All Jockey Gym fighters had something unique. They didn't like to clinch. At Jockey Gym, they sparred every single day, but they didn't clinch often. Instead, when they land in the clinch, they instantly look for sweeps. Since they all prefer to strike on the outside range, this is perfect against fighters who want to close the distance. Unlike what most people in the West think, there were many Muay Thai fighters who were majestically evasive. Many of these fighters came from the incredible Jockey Gym. This is the most evasive Muay Thai champion in history, Lerdzilla. Remember his name and give the legend the recognition he deserves. He's taking his time, picking him apart, eventually landing that lead round kick that was lightning fast and then here's the big finish ugly one of the fastest roundhouse kick knockouts we have ever seen Lerdzilla made the blood pour out of the face of Hay Bison and Lerdzilla advances his record well it's so many now I can't even count <laughs> what a way to finish line fight 36 Lerdzilla he's